the Stargazer has completed the fortress in Tatooine, my master. Excellent. Our revenge is close at hand, my apprentice. Destroy the Stargazer and set the beacon. The Emperor's fleet is already assembled. It shall be done. This is the story of the Stargazer, who, through a series of unfortunate tragedies, found himself on a path toward fear, anger, and suffering. His pain shone like a beacon across the universe for the acolytes of the dark side, and his weakness became just the opportunity a powerful Sith Lord had long been searching for. The story of the Stargazer began with love, with loss, with shame, and with death. And so it would come to be that at the Stargazer's weakest moment, the Renpura would strike. Establishment you got out here in the middle of freaking hyperspace, man. I really dig the vibes in here. Oh, yeah, man. I'd love to buy a drink, but the problem is my van's run out of gas, man. And I was hoping I could ask around here for some loose change for some gas, man. Would that be okay with you? That van is a gas guzzler when the hyperdrive kicks in, let me tell you, man. Why, well, hello there, sir. Sorry to disturb you, man. I was just wondering if you got any loose change, man, because my van's ran out of gas and I still got a long way to go, man. Can you help me out? Are you the one they call Bob? Yeah, that's me, man. Ren Bob the First. Er, uh, how did you know that, by the way, man? Have we met before somewhere, like maybe at Hermit Stock or something, man? Do you have the coordinates to Planet HC-7, human? Planet HC-7? Yeah, man, I'm actually heading there right now. But like I said, man, I need a bit of gas money for the van. So if you got any loose change for gas, that would really help me out, man. It's expensive out here in hyperspace, you know? Lead me to Planet HC-7 and I shall escort you there and ensure your van has all the fuel it requires, human. Not one for small talk, are you, man? Well, I'm already a year late to meet up with my best friend on HC7, so that sounds like a great deal, man. Let's get the heck out of here. The smell of those Grompanoid burgers are making me feel kind of ill, man. I have located the one they call Bob, my master. He has agreed to lead us to Planet HC-7. Excellent! Make haste to Planet HC-7 and ensure that the Bob doesn't alert the Stargazer of your arrival, my apprentice. <laughs> 
It shall be done, my master. Road trip, man. This is gonna be so awesome. We got a long way to go, though, man. But don't worry. I got enough music records to last us six months at least. So crank up your volume, man. HC-7, here we come, man. tonight but I really need to get some sleep I've got so much to do on the server Pamela we're going down baby we're going down I <laughs> Jevon the beef thief has put a bounty on the head of Pam <laughs> I guess it's down to you and me I guess it is there is a literal horror scene outside of this massive cow head Oh, I think I had too much mushroom soup last night and having really crazy dreams. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Ah, it goes down. Oh, oh, got it. Got it. Why? Man, the witch. I've done nothing wrong. Oh, who is this awful creature in my dreams? And why does he keep showing me all the bad things that have happened? Must try and sleep. For I visit you today to bring you a message from afar. In this vast galaxy, there is only one reality for all who exist within it. There are those who seek the darkness. And there are those whom the darkness seeks for itself. The only question is, young Stargazer, do you seek the darkness, or does the darkness seek you? It is known that fear, anger, hate and suffering are the path to the darkness, and that the footsteps of those led down that path can echo across the universe. Sometimes those echoes are heard.
the darkness, my apprentice. Now is our time to strike. Set the beacon at these coordinates, then return to orbit and await further instructions. It shall be done, my master. Having suffered so much loss, the Stargazer retreated to the solitude of the Valley of Taturin, in which he hoped to finally find peace. Some say that the power within is greater than that of the deadliest fleet in the known universe, and that those able to harness that power for light or for dark are even greater still.
Stargazer has taken the bait, my apprentice. Now we must move quickly to secure his loyalty in order to exact our revenge. I am in position above Tatooren, my master. Excellent. Deliver the military blueprint and remain unseen. Soon we shall have our influence secured in the Senate, and this planet will bow to the power of the Renpire. It shall be done, my master. You have done well to follow my instructions so far, Stargazer. As a reward for your loyalty, here is the blueprint for an advanced fighter, constructed in the name of the Empire. I knew there was something strange about that red-faced freak, man. I should have worked that out when he didn't like any of my records, man, and flew away from me a few days after we met at the diner. Hang in there, Red Dog. I won't let him get away with this, man. has come to an end, Stargazer. Surrender the fortress and your demise will be quick and painless. Never! I will never give up what I gave everything that I have to build. It's not too late for you, Sith. I can help you. Search your heart for the light. I know it's in there. You have left me no choice, Stargazer. Your life, your legacy, your power now belongs to the Emperor. Just look at what you've become, Sith. The darkness has blackened your soul and shrouded the goodness within. Your words mean nothing to me, Stargazer. My soul was lost a millennium ago. Now all that matters is your death. It doesn't have to end this way, Sith. But if we must fight, then let us fight. Greatly, Stargazer, although you are no match for the skill of the sea. My power is born from forgiveness, and it is limitless. Search your heart, Sith. Silence, you fool. You know not the power of the darkness.
poisoned by the elixir of the Emperor, Stargazer. This fight is over. Uh, uh, never. It's never too late. It's never too late to change your heart, Sith. Uh. It's over, Stargazer. I have the high ground. Uh, uh, you underestimate my power, Sith. The light within must prevail. has been destroyed, my master. Tattoo Ren is yours. Excellent! <laughs> Excellent! The power of the darkness echoes across these lands, my apprentice. Soon we will have our revenge. <laughs> Dog man, are you out there? Are you okay? I'm sorry I'm late, man. The van just couldn't keep up with that red-faced freak. Uh, Red Bob, Red Bob, I have failed you. I've failed everybody. Uh, uh. Hang in there, man. I got you. Don't give up, Red Dog. We can find our way back to the light, man. Red Bob, uh, help me. Uh, help. Hey, man, good morning, Ren Dog. Hey, you're looking pretty good, man. I found some old tools and components in the van yesterday, man. I patched you up as best as I can. Ren Bob, you're a true friend. Without you, we'd be lost. I've got a bit of a headache, but honestly, I think I'm feeling pretty good. Let's get out of here and go find some peace on planet HC-8. I'm tired of this place now. Rendog man, you're speaking my language, baby. I didn't want to say anything about your base earlier, but this place kind of smells like a grumpanoid's armpit, man. Stay in bed and try and get some rest, man. I managed to siphon more than enough fuel out of that red-faced freak's TIE fighter to get us all the way to planet HC-8, man. Oh, and by the way, if you want to watch something cool on the portable television set, man, I managed to pick up a box set of a show called Star Wars in hyperspace, man. Have you ever seen it? It's kind of awesome. Although I'd probably recommend starting at episode 4 and then watch number 5, watch number 6, man, and maybe go back to watch number 1, 2, 3, and then maybe if you're up for it, watch 7, 8, 9, but 7, 8, 9 is not that great, man, but I gotta say, maybe watch 4, 5, 6, like 7 times, man, because they're pretty awesome. Oh, and I also got a bunch of sweet music records, too, man. This is gonna be the most awesome road trip ever. Hey, Red Dog, man, to infinity and beyond, man. <laughs> yeah, to infinity and beyond, my old friend.